Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the basics of your Google Docs screen. I am in the classic look of Google Docs. They do have a new look, but I'm going to show you around the classic style because that is what your students will be seeing. So I'm going to go from left to right across your screen. First, you're going to see Google Docs. That's how you know where you are. <laughs> then you're going to see some buttons here. Obviously, create new and upload. Create new is where you can create one of a variety of documents. You can actually make word-like documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, which are really cool for gathering data, drawings, um, tables are something new. Actually, these were in beta for a while, but now they just came out, so everyone can use them. Tables are fusion tables, and they are a collaborative way of uh, gathering data. Probably math and science, we'd be all about using those. And then collections, which are Google's terms for folders. That's all that is. Then you've got the upload button. Obviously you can upload a file, you can upload a folder of files, there's all sorts of settings you can set. Basically this is if you already have created a document, and I use this a lot, if you've already created a document like in Word, you can just upload it here. Okay. So that way you don't have to retype the whole thing. So then here you've got several options. You've got your home screen, um, anything that you've starred, okay. everything that I've starred will sh show up all items which is where I usually go I don't understand the home screen very much but all items and then anything that you've trashed and this is new from last year last year there was no trash <laughs> this year there is and you can get things out of the trash it'll actually stay there for a certain amount of days and then if you leave it there it'll be gone forever then owned by me which is what I use quite a bit anything that I've uploaded or anything I've created that's what you will find here okay, and then you have your collections Again, these are just folders that you can create using the Create New option. And as you can see, I divide it up by subject, and you can actually create subfolders. Here I created one for periods, one for a particular unit. You can create collections in any way that you want. You can actually create collections within collections. Okay. So if you go Create New Collection, you'll create a collection, or I would create a collection in my fourth period folder. Okay. So, just showing you the levels there. And then you can actually share collections with people. And this would be useful maybe if you're sharing a collection of documents with your entire class. You can just share the collection with them and be done with it and not have to sit there and, you know, share each and every document. So that's this side, chock full of good stuff. Then here is where all your documents are. And if you notice, these numbers, these are the ID numbers. This shows who owns the document. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's a student. And this is what I found this year with our Google setup with students having Gmails. It won't show their name, it will show their ID number. So what I do, if you look, I have them put their name in the document, what it is, and what period it is, so that way I know for sure who it belongs to and where it came from. Here you can sort, if you just want to see your text document spreadsheets, I use this a lot if I'm looking for something in particular and I know it was like a word-like document, I will, here I'll show you. So then you only get text documents. Here you only get presentations. I don't have any presentations, so nothing shows up. Made a lot of forms though. Okay. Oh, not in biology. Let's do this. There we go. Forms. Ah, oh, you see there. Okay. You can sort by images and videos, and there's other options. You can sort by just what's public on the web. That's about sharing, which I'm going to cover in a different tutorial. So again, this is just more sorting options. And same with here. You can sort by last modified. You can view the details. Now. If you click on a document, you'll see a preview over here. You can add a description if you want, I usually don't. You can organize it from here, in other words, you can put it in a collection from here, which I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. And here you can mess with the sharing settings. So this is the basics of the Google Docs screen. In a later tutorial, I'll be showing you how to share, I'll be showing you how to work with documents, so this was just to give you an overview of what the heck is on this screen. So if you have any questions, let me know.